Today I need to tell you about the film that many consider to be the best Polish film ever made. That film is The Promised Land directed by Andrzej Wajda. It is based on the novel with the same title by the Polish Nobel Prize winner for literature Władysław Raymond. The film is set in Łódź. It is there that three friends and business partners, the Pole Karol Borowiecki, the German Max Baum and the Jew Maurice Welt, want to open their own factory and try to raise money for this purpose. Even though the film does not accurately reflect the plot of Raymond's novel, it is perhaps precisely thanks to the changes Andrzej Wajda made when writing the screenplay, as you have already heard, a phenomenal work. In 2015 plebiscite of the Museum of Cinematography in Łódź, The Promised Land took first place in the list of best Polish films. The film has everything you would expect from the good cinema. So there is struggle for money, romance, friendship, love and suspicion. One of the critics wrote, On the surface, it may seem that Vaida is fascinated by the inexhaustible vitality, energy, as well as the lack of restraints and the vital of sexual appetite of the three young protagonists of The Promised Land. In fact, more sharply than Raymond himself did, he brings out the entire emptiness of their lives concealed behind dynamic infantilism and the automatism of making big money at all costs. At the end of the film, when they have done business and brought their careers to the final stage, one sees colorless, aged, social climbers and owners of big capital real people with no future. Interestingly, in 2000, Vaida decided to remake The Promised Land. The film was slightly re-edited and above all significantly shortened. The improvements also concern the sound layer. Actually, there is a multitude of things I would like to tell you about this film. It would take several hours to tell you about the director himself, Andrzej Vaida. This is one of those names you have to know when you are introduced to Polish culture. If I were to put in a nutshell, I would say that Vajda directed all or at least most of the most important Polish films. He adapted the most important Polish novels, made films about the most important moments in Polish history and for decades was the cinematic consciousness of the nation and the commentator of political and social life. If I wanted to list the most significant titles, it would take a long time, so let's have the topic for another story. Speaking of the promised land, mention must also be made of the actors featured in film. Daniel Olbrychski, Wojciech Przoniak and Andrzej Severin make an unforgettable trio on the screen. Each of these actors is a legend of Polish cinema. You should first and foremost associate Daniel Olbrychski with Henryk Sienkiewicz's trilogy, where he played the roles of Andrzej Kmicic and Azja Tuchajbejowicz. The Deluge and Colonel Wodojowski respectively made Olbrychski a top film star. It is worth mentioning that Olbrychski appeared in 2010 Hollywood hit Salt Egg alongside Angelina Jolie. Andrzej Severin, in turn, I must admit my favorite actor, it is a man you should certainly remember as the third foreigner in history to be hired for the prestigious French Comédie Française. He lived in France for many years before finally returning to Poland after 2000. Today he plays in films, in theater productions and has been a head of the Arnold Schiffman Polish Theater in Warsaw for many years. Severin has starred in countless Polish and foreign films, but if you would like to see him in a very unusual and modern version, go to the Netflix platform and watch the series The Queen, in which the actor plays a role of a drag queen. Other noteworthy recent productions include his role as Joseph Conrad in Dangerous Gentlemen, Niebezpieczni Gentlemeni, and the remarkable film Shubu. You can see in Promised Land many other well-known artists. Anna Nechrebecka, Bożena Dykiel, Franciszek Pieczka, Kalina Jędrusik, Andrzej Łapicki, Piotr Frączewski, Zbigniew Zapasiewicz and many, many others. This is not all. Cinematographers Witold Sobociński and Edward Kłosiński and composer Wojciech Kilar should also become the protagonists of our story. Believe me, each of them has a gigantic filmography worthy of attention. I also absolutely must tell you about one of the settings in this film because it is in the city where I live. 
The place is the Adam Mickiewicz Theater in Cieszyn. The in this incredibly beautiful building, the interior of which you can see in the film, was designed by Viennese architects Ferdinand Fellner and Hermann Helmer. The Adam Mickiewicz Theater was officially opened on, on 24th of September 1910. On that day, play The Waves of the Sea and Love was staged in German. The first Polish play was staged as late as 10 years later, on 14th December 1920, and it was a comedy by Alexander Fredro entitled Zemsta, The Revenge. And well, you can see that all in all, I have only managed to tell you a few trifles and it has been a long time. I didn't even touch the awards or distinctions, but let's mention the Oscar nomination for the best foreign language film. That's the end of today's story about the promised land, so just have a great time watching Andrzej Vajda's film. Remember, pay special attention to the interiors of the theatre and see you in the next episode.